And by the way, I can tell you, and I'm telling you authoritatively and truly, they lie about every goddamn thing about these wars. And so that's not, demo that's not democracy either. Everything is phony. Everything is narrative. And so on the war and peace issues, the public has no say at all. If you were to ask the American people now, and in fact, Gallup does, uh, do you support Biden's foreign policy? I think the support is, you can look it up, 25 to 35 percent perhaps. I don't even think it reaches 35 percent. Where's the democracy in this? It's a game. This is the deep state, and they have their wars, and every war has been phony. Some wars the American people are basically never told about. For example, the war in Syria. And you may actually hear from grown-up reporters who are lying through their teeth or ignorant beyond imagining that, oh, the war in Syria, yes, Russia intervened in Syria. Well, do you know that, the, <laughs> that Obama tasks the CIA to overthrow the Syrian government starting four years before Russia intervened? What kind of nonsense is that? And how many times did the New York Times report on Operation Timber Sycamore, which was the presidential order to the CIA to overthrow Bashar al-Assad? Three times in 10 years. This is not democracy. This is a game. And it's a game of narrative. Why did the US invade Iraq in 2003? Well, first of all, it was completely phony pretenses. It wasn't, oh, we were so wrong, they didn't have weapons of mass destruction. They actually did focus groups in the fall of 2002 to find out what would sell that war to the American people. Abe Schultzky, if you want to know the name of the PR genius. They did focus groups on the war. They wanted the war all the time, they had to figure out how to sell the war to the American people, how to scare the shit out of the American people. It was a phony war. Where did that war come from? You know what? It's quite surprising. That war came from Netanyahu, actually. You know that? It's weird. And the way it is, is that Netanyahu had from 1995 onward the theory that the only way we're going to get rid of Hamas and Hezbollah is by toppling the governments that support them. That's Iraq, Syria, and Iran. And the guy's nothing if not obsessive. And we're, he's still trying to get us to fight Iran this day, this week. He's a deep, dark son of a bitch, sorry to tell you. Because he's gotten us into endless wars and because of the power of all of this uh, in the US politics, he's gotten his way. But that war was totally phony. So what is this democracy versus dictatorship? Come on, this is, these are not even sensible terms. And even if they were sensible terms, under the UN Charter, we can have our democracy, you do what you want. It happens to be the case that China has had a centralized administrative state for 2,245 years, ever since Emperor Qin Shi Huangdi unified the Qin. Voila, uh, this is something that is of mutual benefit for everybody. Uh, the only one that opposes this, in my view, is the extremists in Israel, uh, represented by Netanyahu, Smotrich, Ben Gavir, uh, and the other extremists uh, in this uh, utterly uh, obnoxious and genocidal government uh, that is uh, in power in Israel right now. And uh, it's just uh, one vote away in my estimation, which is the US veto. And I believe that if the security state in the United States uh, looks uh, honestly and dispassionately at this, if the American people understand how many wars Netanyahu has led the American people into and what a disaster this has been, that actually uh, it's possible to change. Um, 
It's not uh, a sure deal by any means. But I want the rest of the world to say to the United States, you, not Israel, you are the obstacle to peace, the only obstacle remaining, because we don't need Israel's approval for this. Why should Israel have a veto over a state of Palestine? Of course it has no veto in international law. It's you, the United States, that's using the veto. And I want the world to say that clearly with a plan and to be able to say to the Israeli people, this is not about squandering your safety. It's about actually your safety as in a most fundamental way.